11 and live on the Channel 3 streaming news app, we are starting with developing news. A multi-state manhunt is underway for a man accused of killing two people in Connecticut, then taking off. Thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Courtney Zeller. Peter Manfredonia is accused of randomly killing a Willington man on Friday. Authorities believe the 23-year-old Yukon student also killed a Derby man on Sunday. Manfredonia was last seen in Pennsylvania walking near train tracks by East Stroudsburg, an hour and a half north of Philadelphia. Police say he has left a trail of violence everywhere he went. Tonight, an attorney for the Manfredonia family spoke out asking he turn himself into authority. So Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Elliot Polikoff joins us live now with what we know right now. Hi, Elliot. Hey, Courtney, as the search continues across multiple states for Peter Manfredonia, we're trying to piece together what led to this manhunt. Still, so many questions left to be answered, but little by little, we've begun to figure out more about who Peter Manfredonia is and how he's impacted so many different Connecticut communities. Why? That's the first question that comes to mind about Peter Manfredonia's deadly attacks. There's still no concrete answer, just a plea for the violence to stop. Peter, from your parents, we love you. Please turn yourself in. Growing up in Newtown, Peter experienced the aftermath of the Sandy Hook shootings. He went on to achieve success as a Nighthawks football player, as an honor student at UConn. But Peter's journey also included several challenges. You won't be surprised to hear that Peter has struggled with mental health issues over the past several years. He sought the help of a number of therapists, and he's had the support of his parents and loved ones to help him through those struggles. Manfredonia family attorney Michael Dolan says Peter's parents haven't heard from him since the killings. One of the few that has, Jesse, a neighbor of the second victim, 23-year-old Nicholas Isley. I thought it was, you know, a young couple arguing. They argued before, um, so I, to me it just felt normal. I didn't hear any gunshots, so that was it. I went back to bed, I woke up at 10.30 to, poli to police at the house. At that point, Peter Manfredonia was long gone, and he'd taken Isley's girlfriend with him before dropping her off unharmed in Patterson, New Jersey. Manfredonia continued west to Pennsylvania and is still considered armed and dangerous. As for Jesse, he's left wondering if he could have prevented this manhunt from continuing past Connecticut. I just felt guilty for not making that phone call. Maybe it might not have saved them, but it would have caught, it would have caught him at least, you know? So that's my go, you know? Uh, I have to live with that. It is so difficult to move forward in any way from these tragic killings, but one bit of good news, a GoFundMe to raise money for the family of Ted Demers, the 62-year-old Willington man who was killed last Friday. It's already surpassed its $10,000 goal. Currently, over $50,000 have been donated. You love to see communities coming together in times of sadness. Live at the Digital Desk, Elliot Polikoff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.